Let's go and pop open the lid. Now we got these guys. Hey Zoe. We are pulling water out of the tank. We got some A cans on the top there. What is going on everybody? This is Paul. We are driving home because we got a box of coral. You guys gotta check this out. Our friends at LAX Aquarium sent a box of coral. Now, if this is your guys' first time on the channel, thank you so much for stopping in and checking out the content. We do things saltwater and freshwater on this channel, all things fish, coral, you name it, builds, all that good stuff. So if that's your type of jam, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell. That would be absolutely awesome. You can see the analytics showed that the majority of the viewers aren't sub, so uh, your subscription makes a huge difference. I really do appreciate that. Also, please consider hitting the like button as well. All of your guys' likes and comments and all that stuff makes a difference on the channel. So thank you so much. Those of you who have not met my dog, this is Zoe, Black Labrador. She is going to be five years old in June. She's an absolutely amazing dog. Say hey, Zoe. Say hey, Zoe. <laughs> She's just chilling in the sun. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and get into the house here so that we can get these corals going. All right, getting in the house. Let's do it, guys. So let's check out the coral, everybody. This is what we got in the Coral QT tank. Um, this guy ain't doing so hot, but we got a flower rock man. We got some acans on the top there. Uh, a mushroom in the back. Sapastria looks like there. Uh, a Duncan who's a bit stressed. We got a hammer. This amazing Ghani. This Ghani. This Ghani. Some aviopora, we got some blastos and the torches. So this is what is currently in the coral QT tank. Now, something that I like to do when I'm acclimating my corals is I got this piece of tubing here that is extra from other projects. And then we got this little valve here. I leave it full of water. So when I'm done acclimating coral, I just shut the valve so you stop the siphon and then I put it back together. So this stays full. So I always got a prime on it. Otherwise you have to do things to get the, get primed and all that and I don't really want to do that. The first thing that I want to do is get the old water out of here so that when we start to drip acclimate the uh, corals are getting the actual tank temperature water, right? So basically all I got to do is put this in here like this. We'll do this. I got a bucket under here. You guys hear that? And for this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and shut that. Now that we got that flushed out so it is the current water temperature and everything in here, we're good to go. Uh, now it's time to get the coral. Also, what I do because we are pulling water out of the tank to drip acclimate, we need to unplug the auto top off, which is right here, because we don't want a bunch of fresh water in here. Also gonna shut down the pump. And we're gonna shut, actually no, I'm gonna leave this running so all of this stays going. All right, what do we got going on in this box? Let's go and pop open the lid. I always check the heat pack, that's one of my signatures is I always make sure this is warm, and it is. We got the packing material in here to make sure everything stays nice and solid in there. Let's see, oh, this is kind of cool, this is new. Keychain, nice. And they send out product with the orange filter glasses. Super great. All right, here we go. Here is one of them. And then here are the other ones. This is going to be epic right there. I was talking to Chris, the owner at LAX Aquarium, and I asked him what his suggestion was on getting this one special coral acclimated and stuff. It is known to be a very finicky piece of coral. It's beautiful, but it is known to be finicky. And the thing is, uh, I have a standard procedure that I like to do, and I wanna make sure that that isn't gonna cause a problem. With this particular one, we're gonna do things a little bit different. We are gonna temp acclimate these ones, but we are not going to temp acclimate this one. This is the one that we need to be very, very, very careful on just because of the state of this coral, how easy it gets stressed. We ain't gonna risk anything. Time to get this all set up. 
We got it primed as we've seen before, so I could basically let that droop down. And this I'll just put into a piece of the egg crate so it stays nice and solid. Put this clip over here to hold this in place. Let's go ahead and get this in the bucket here. Very gentle. Of course, I'm uh, being very, very cautious with this one just because I understand the sensitivity of this coral. I've tried to keep this coral before and well, yeah, it didn't work out because of just how sensitive this one is. A lot of people like to avoid them for that reason. Okay, so let's go. Actually, I want to pull the, I want to make this a little bit bigger cut. There we go. A little bit more comfortable with that. So we are going to pull this out and then hurry and get this water in here. Right. There we go. Let's go. So we got a real slow drip going here and I'm just going to put this over it so that once the temperature starts to acclimate, it can adjust. Now we got these guys. Let's see how this is going to work here and here. I should work out. All right. So it has been almost an hour 50 some minutes we're gonna go ahead and get that coral into the tank we are gonna be putting this in a spot that doesn't have a ton of flow and the lighting isn't insane because I know that these guys when they're first introduced they say to um, have it in like a low light low flow area here we go there it is in the tank. I'm probably going to turn it some. I feel like maybe that's going to be a little bit better for it. We'll see. Just avoiding touching it as much as possible. Let's let it settle in. Well, that's one coral in, but we got two more to do. One. <laughs> and number two. All right, let's go get these guys set to acclimate now to the water parameters. There we go. Check them in a half hour. There's the Aussie, there's the Indo, and the A-Can. So I... Um, Left the light off for a while, and then I'm putting this on top just to limit the amount of light that gets to the two new torches, just so they could settle in better. Uh, and I know this Aussie Gold, yeah, even though it's up a little bit, this is probably one of the lowest flow areas of the tank. And even when the light is on, um, it uh, it's not like it's insanely bright because it, it, you know, the spectrum, you know, it spreads out. But anyway, again, I just don't want this guy to, to I don't want to lose it. All right, so check that out, everybody. There is the first one. There is the second one. And there is the third one. Let's get a look down here. So that green A can right there, that is one of the pickups doing well. We got this Aussie Gold Torch. That's the one that we really had to do a good job of making sure that it settled in slowly. So far, it's doing well. And then we got this Indo Gold here still settling on in. Uh, we're going to come back in, um, you know, a couple days and see how they're doing. So I just got home for my lunch break. I actually work really close uh, to home. So uh, let's check out the coral. I haven't even looked at them yet today. Let's see. Here is the Aussie Gold Torch. Look at that thing doing good so far. 
We got the Indo Gold right there where you can see the shrimp. There it is, Indo Gold. And the stunning Acan right there. Man, that thing is beautiful. Talk about some fire coral, everybody. What do you guys think in the comment section down below? Let me know what you guys think of the Aussie Gold and the Acan. Let me know what you think of the corals that we got. I think that they are absolutely epic and I cannot wait to show you guys what they're like down the road. Now, something I talked about in a previous video, I am thinking of changing my channel name. This has happened before. I haven't done it, been thinking about doing it. Other big YouTubers have done it before. So I'm thinking why not possibly do it so it's more relevant to the content. I know Inventory King is a very unique name, but I'd like something maybe a little more that uh, is relative to the content of being a fish keeper. So if you think I should, comment down below. If you guys think I should, give me some suggestions down below because it's going to be a slow process because I want all my subscribers to know if I do change the channel name that everyone's going to know when it happens and all that good stuff. It's not going to be some, you know, immediate thing. It's going to take some time, but uh, I need you guys to comment and let me know down below. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate each and every one of you for stopping into this video today. Thank you. We'll talk to you guys soon. Stay tanked.